Hello and thank you for inquiring about our email and SMS platform. My name is Killian Fisher from Momentum BD and next 30 minutes we're going to show you through the main features of Momentum Connect's platform. There are three main parts to it. Yes, there's more than just email marketing. We also have SMS marketing and we also have social media as part of the platform as well. So it's a great platform. I'm going to show you through all those main features including our new audience segmentation which is all about precision marketing. So, tune in now. Okay, so here we are looking at our Momentum Connect email SMS marketing system together with social media. It also has links with Salesforce, which Momentum Force, Momentum Health has the very first Salesforce CRM in the world for the fitness industry, and that is available globally, and we can do a separate demonstration on that for you. So looking first at what email marketing is really about, it is not just about blasting out emails to all of your clients, all your prospects. It is about setting up data capture. It is about marketing automation. It is about using split testing and a whole lot of other tools and tips to make sure that your email SMS marketing campaigns are successful and also have links to social media. So within Momentum Connect, we have got six prime screens. You can see Home, Collect, Create, Send, Share, and Lies. So in this brief demonstration, I just want to give you a little bit of overview of what is actually possible and the big advantages of our email marketing platform over and above any other platform that you will see out there. Uh, there's a lot of free facilities that you can get, or free platforms you can get. They are very limited in terms of numbers that you can email to, in terms of type of automation, in terms of the monitoring, a lot of other features as well. So if you really want to get the results, if you want to increase your sales, increase your retention, increase your engagement, to overall improve your bottom line, it is important, critical I would say, to have a proper professional email marketing platform that is fully supported by a company like Momentum BD Limited who are run by and led by industry professionals. So looking at the home screen, one of the key things is to collect subscribers, collect and upload to a list. So what type of list do we want to create? So let's look at that first. So within this, we can create as many folders, as many type of lists as you want. So just showing you very simply here in terms of the type of list so we can edit the folder and that could be your club folder whatever you want to call that okay so that's your overall folder we can create that as a aquatics folder as a fitness folder whatever you like to call it so within this for example we use igc which is our indoor group cycling.com club landing page so what we do is again you could have a general one that you're driving people into from a data capture form, which I'll show you in a minute. We can have an SMS catch all to catch all those people that are subscribing by SMS or text message. Then we can link various forms to this landing page to your data capture. For data protection reasons, obviously we can't show you the precise subscribers obviously in this, but this is our own version of Momentum Connect, which we use for our own B2B purposes. As you can see on here, we have about 12 and a half thousand subscribers just within this particular folder. So it just gives you an idea of the vast number of lists, folders, and so on that you can actually create. So you can see all the different types of folders, different types of lists and so on. So just to give you one example here, um, so similar we did there in Baselin in the UK there um, a while ago, we picked up a form, or developed a form I should say, to pick up people who were interested in this particular seminar. So what we do is we set up a data capture form. So it can be something very simple like this. You can add in a logo onto it. You can create a whole t load of different customized information that you can pick up as well. One of the secrets of a very successful data capture is to ask for the minimal amount of information in the first place. So we suggest first off, just ask for email, first name, and surname, maybe company name, which is relevant in this place and a mobile number. 
Now, email is the absolute critical bit. First name, again, is a critical bit. So you might even just make compulsory that the email and first name are gathered in the first place. And then as people click through in emails, you can pick up more and more information then from them. So one of the secrets of effective data capture is to keep the data capture form nice and simple, nice and straightforward. We can also style the form to be a number of different themes, marine, skinny jeans, eat your greens, lively. So you can see the way it just changes in front of your eyes. What you see is what you get. You can also customize your company branding so you can bring in different fonts, different styles, different logos. So it's a whole range of different variations on this. We can also then, of course, promote the form, which is the important thing. So we can get linked to the form, which we can put into emails. We can put onto a website, so we can add the form onto a website. We can adjust the width and the height so it fits into the website properly. Or we can use a HTML um, and we can get into more sophisticated technicalities there as well. Or we can keep it just very, very simple for the non-technical people. So really, really easy, really straightforward. So you can see there where we can set up the data capture form pretty easily. We can link it into a Facebook page. We can link it into a website. We can link it into an email. So as you can see, here's our list of some of our data capture forms that we've actually set up. And what I did there was really quick, really easy. So you can just see how easy it is to start building up that data capture. Now let's have a look just at a couple of examples of live data capture forms. So here's one on a Court Town Leisure site, a site in Ireland. This is one of our forms. Leave your details for more information on the programs. First name, surname, email and telephone. You notice the little red stars mean that just the name and the email is made compulsory. So we keep it nice and simple, nice and easy for people to be able to fill in the names. So let's just put in my name there. So Killian Fisher, email, telephone, submit. And away it goes, we get a little sign coming up there telling us thank you for submitting your details and complete subscription. Please click confirmation link in the email we've just sent you. The reason for that is to comply with legislation and email marketing. We also have a warning to ask people to check the junk folder because often these emails do end up in spam or junk folders and that can happen with any email these days. So what we ask people then is to add our email address or your club email address to the whitelist to the safe senders to make sure that receive every one of your emails in future. So there's one example in terms of doing a data capture form and how we embed it into a website. Here's another example into one of our own websites, which is the trimbelly.eu or trimbelly.co.uk, which is one of our gym programs where we embed videos right beside a data capture. We also have other messages there as well to find the trainer's view, information about the clubs. So you notice several data capture forms are all embedded into here. So no matter what the people are actually interested in, they may have different questions that they fill in the appropriate form. So against testimonials, against videos, against find your own club. When they fill in that form, they get the same form back and same message to confirm the subscription they will then get an email which they click on. So again, complying with data capture. Then after that, what then happens is we go into marketing automation. So marketing automation within Momentum Connect, we can set up as many different types of rules as you would like. So we're going to show you a couple of examples here. So here we go, create a new rule. What we want to do in this case is when the subscriber is added to a list. So the list is, is firstly generated by linking it to a form. So in this particular case, when somebody fills in the data capture form, which again is on a website or email or Facebook, it will automatically add those subscribers to the particular list that you decide. So in this particular example, IGC club sign up. So when somebody fills in this particular form, they automatically go on to this IGC clubs sign up list. So once that then happens, what we then do is start up our marketing automation. 
So when that subscriber is added to the IGC list, so what we do is we go down here, we select the IGC list that you just saw. So here's the IGC club sign up list. We select that list. Then the next thing is the action. So what do we actually want to do? We want to send them an automated email. So we choose whichever email campaign that we want to do. So let's just pick this one here in our example. We then want to send it to them as soon as possible, after a fixed period of time or specific time. So we'll say as soon as possible. We then put a name on the rule. So we'll just say general web inquiry. And we can set up as many of these marketing automation rules as you would like. So we then save this and finish it. And then we want to set up our email. So we create what's called a campaign. So in here, we would create a new email and you've got a whole range of different classic editors, code view if you were working in HTML or campaign designer. So for those marketing professionals, leisure professionals like myself, you can then just go into any one of loads and loads and loads of different templates. You can choose different types. You can filter by layout, by color. So if you want to do a newsletter or it's just responsive email and responsive emails means that they will apply automatically, whether somebody opens on a particular browser, on a mobile device, on a smartphone, on a smart tablet, it will automatically adjust to respond, which is why it's called responsive design, to whatever type of device the person opens up on or whatever type of browser. So you can pick the type of template that you actually want. So we'll just pick a simple responsive one here. We've already put in our own email header into this. We can also do a spam check on it. We can preview, we can save, we can exit. So we're just going to discard that for this moment. We've now decided on the email that we're going to send. So we select a particular email. So there's our IGC email one that we've just selected. So once a person fills in the data capture form on your website, that goes automatically into Momentum Connect. They're added automatically to that list. Once that happens, they're automatically then sent an email, which they think is great service because it's personalized. It's addressed to them. So whatever their first name is, dear Mary, Joe, Killian, whoever, they will get that email personalized to them saying, dear Joe, Mary, whoever, with the details that they've asked for. So it might've been a general inquiry that you will then talk about the different activities in your center on your club. If it's a specific inquiry, then it will be headed with that specific inquiry, like the example of the trim belly earlier or the indoor group cycling. Within your email, then it's important to have things like click throughs. So what click through means is having something about your particular club, about a particular activity that's in your club. So when somebody clicks a click through within the email, we want to have another marketing automation. So we want to set all these things up at the beginning to save you all that manual work. So you choose a link within an email. So let's look at what we have. So within this, we have a form link. So they've clicked on a link to inquire about information about a particular program maybe you're running. It could be a video. So we select that when they click on that link, we want to send them a further email. So we then set up another email we select the email campaign that we want to send to them. So in this example, we just pick campaign 905 there. We want to send it to them as soon as possible. We click next. So we just put email two, we'll call this one. We save and finish and it's as quick as that. So what then happens is the person will automatically receive that second email, giving them more details about the specific activity, program, or whatever they've inquired about. It could be membership. They think this is absolutely brilliant. They're getting really quick responses from you. And it is also personalized to the person and to the inquiry that they have just made. So what you're doing from that is you're bringing, building up more data, more insights, and also building up to more specific lists. Now, what that means is let's go back to our list again. So as you can see within our own Momentum Connect, within our B2B system here, 
We have built up a whole lot of different lists. And you can do exactly the same. So what's could be for swimming, fitness, gym, different swimming lessons, different outdoor activities, whatever it is, it can be broken into different age groups, into male, female, whatever types of target segments that you actually have in your club or in your business, you can break it down as specifically as you like. So you can really get down into having that great data insights. And one of the new tools that we have that has just recently been released is audience segmentation. This is about precise and precision marketing. So we can set up a number of different tests here. So let's just set up a new one. We'll create a new audience and let's just call it the Momentum Connect test. Now, what we can then do is we can look at subscriber data. So we can set up different profiles that could really segment your market. We can add locations. So if you're a multi-club business or you run different events where some are local, some are national, some are region, what you can do is let's just pick a specific location. So let's just pick Birmingham in United Kingdom. Let's see how many people we have on our email database within maybe a 55 mile radius. So let's see how many come up within that. Okay, so in 55 miles of Ashton Street, which came up Ashton University where we clicked, we have 263 subscribers. Okay, so a small number within that radius within the particular database that we picked on this. We can exclude particular locations as well. And the brilliant new feature is engagement. So what we want to do here is we want to see all the people who have really engaged with us. So the five star people. So we include all those subscribers who have five star engagement within that particular location. Or we want to go to our three, four and five stars. So we want to see those people who have had some reasonably good engagement with us over the time. And we can target them to send a specific email to that those are people who are more interested in what we're doing. So we can send some offers to them. We can really try and get some secondary spend, some cross selling, some upselling to these people. Conversely, let's look at the people who have not really engaged with us at all. All the one stars, the two stars. So those people want to start sending new emails to with different subject headers because they're not really engaging at all. That means they're probably not even opening the emails. They're not doing any click throughs. So this really gives us great insights into all of this. Now, one of the questions we often get asked is, say we don't have address to these people. Remember our data capture, we're picking up a lot of email information from our websites. We're not asking for postal addresses. The clever thing about this, which is a bit of big brother, is based on picking up IP addresses. So we don't need physical addresses. It actually used geolocator to pick up from IP addresses. So really, really clever. And we can send specific campaigns to these different lists and we can build up unlimited numbers as we go through. So really, really clever. I just want to pause for a minute on this and just show you one of the great features we have with tutorials. As you're going through with any of these features, if you need help, all you have to do is click on the tutorial and it'll bring up a screen like this, which is an overlay. So this is now bringing us through a tutorial create an audience, modify, we want to do that later on, we'll save that, and it will follow us all the way through so we can really learn as we go along or if we forget something. Now, we will train and set everything up for you in the first place, but if you forget something, it does give you these very easy, what you see is what you get, tutorials all the way through on all the different features. With SMS, again, it's all within the same platform. Quite usually with email platforms, you can only do emails, not SMS as well. So within the same platform, you can set up your SMS, who it's from, type your message. You can include unsubscription information to comply with data protection. And we can personalize all this with title, first name and surname as well. Okay, so very easy, very quick to set up. One thing with SMS is we set up a code word or a keyword. So Trimbelly we have with this particular example. So what you can do is all your advertising. So it can be through using QR codes onto leaflets, posters, flyers, Facebook, and so on. So we can have an SMS link with a keyword. People just send a message using that keyword and you can follow it with maybe the club. So you can start it with the club name 
and then have trim belly or something else and there's a short code there for your sms so whichever short code you then decide to use of course we've got full results and stats on this so it can show the number sent to the open rates if you get 41 percent and everything you'll be doing absolutely fantastic from members would expect fairly high open rates from leads and prospects if you're doing anything above 20 percent you're doing great if you're not getting near to that you definitely need to talk to us and make it more effective so you should be getting a lot higher from your members we'll be hoping that your members will be more like 70 80 percent kind of open rates and that level uh, of open so another feature of this platform is being able to post to your different feeds so facebook twitter you can select a number of different personal sites business sites as you can see here we can select a number of different pages you can put in your social post and you can share later you can share now so you can schedule your post to run whenever you think is the best time to run so all of this, yes, all of this is done within Momentum Connect. You can also share your different emails and have the facility to do that onto blog. All of this social media, absolutely fantastic because you can schedule all those posts, as we've said, for later, for now. You can also share all the emails and ask your recipients to share the information, share the emails, share the click-throughs onto Twitter, onto Facebook, onto LinkedIn. So all of this is within Momentum Connect. So you don't have to go off to another platform. So really we've got three platforms in one. You've got the email marketing, you've got the marketing automation connected with that. You've got all the SMS marketing side. You've also then got the social marketing features. So social platforms, so everything can be done all within Momentum Connect. And of course, the new precision marketing then as well. So loads and loads of different things there. The other feature just to mention very briefly, is we can link this to the new Momentum Health Momentum Force, which is the only Salesforce CRM platform in the world for the fitness industry. So whether you're a personal trainer, a fitness club, a leisure facility, we have got the first and only Salesforce app in the world for the industry. Salesforce, if you're not aware, is the number one biggest and best CRM platform in the world, has been proven by a whole lot of different awards. So look up salesforce.com. You'll find out a lot more about Salesforce as a company. But if you're from the fitness industry and you want the Pacific Salesforce app, for your fitness club, for your leisure facility, for your sports center, then come back to Momentum. And we can link this to Momentum Connect also, so you have a more integrated system. So there you go, Momentum, putting friendly back into fitness, designed for customer-focused fitness clubs and personal trainers. So with Momentum Connect, with Momentum Force, our CRM platform, and also our booking platform, we've got three platforms that can all link together to provide you solutions that are not going to just increase your sales, but will increase more customer, more member engagement, increasing your retention, and thereby overall improving your bottom line. So talk to us now. Absolutely fantastic platform, isn't it? Momentum Connect. So we've just shown you there on the three main parts to it, all the email marketing with all the marketing automation, the SMS side, and then also how you can use the social marketing as well. Hope you love the precision marketing feature with the new audience segmentation. So absolutely great features there, and we can show you how that links to the other platforms as well. If you've got any questions, please do contact us. Otherwise, we'd love to see you signing up straight away, and let's get you started on the absolutely fantastic, very comprehensive email SMS marketing platform. Thank you for watching.